To be honest with you, I don't know what the proper terms are. Handicapped, differently abled, disabled, I don't know. <laughs> On uh, May 29th, I'm gonna be using my longboard to do the 2016 Calgary Marathon. You know, obviously with, without arms and legs, running the marathon would be a little more difficult, so uh, the next best option, in my opinion, was to, to do it on my longboard. I know I look different, and different's not a bad thing. You know, I'm comfortable in my own skin, I'm, I'm confident, and you know, if somebody has an issue with the fact that I'm missing arms and legs, well, that's, that's their problem, not mine. Hills just add a little extra challenge. Um, I mean, I'm able to uh, go up up the hills, no problem. Uh, if it's a if it's a steeper hill, I'll maybe kind of brace down like this uh, when I'm going up, and then going down the hill, I'll regulate my speed by dragging my heel and putting my foot on the on the wheel to regulate my speed. Failure is not something that we should be afraid of or worried about. I'd rather go along knowing that at least I gave it a shot. It's, it's all up here. I mean, yes, there are physical limitations, there are physical obstacles and challenges, but if, if you want to do something bad enough, you will find a way to do it. And that really, it doesn't matter if you are disabled or differently abled or able-bodied. You know, everybody, anybody. And if you, want to, if you want something bad enough and you're willing to put in the time and the effort and the energy and you know, have a don't quit, never give up attitude, anything's possible.